20 million dollars. 20 mil. House on the hill. A Lamborghini in the driveway. Fly first class both ways. Both ways. See the world when I want to. When I want to. Shopping sprees when I want to. When I want to. with interest a show do. That'll do. $5,000 on the hotel. Hey guys. What's up, guys? <laughs> How you doing? Welcome back to the back Ziggy Beats show. Yes, as he said, we are back, back. with you. We We're back. back. We back. Oh, yeah. <gasps> to another episode number it? 55. Just no. <laughs> um, we're do what are, what are we doing again? Uh globe global cuisine or something around the world Globe Globetrotting around the world. Yes. We're doing um meals around the world this yes, week. Yes, that that's a good name. Meals <laughs> around the world. I don't know. Something. Plates yeah, around the world. Exactly. Um so as you, I don't Comment know. Comment beloved you guys have a good name for this. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys have been following us since the very beginning, you know that um when we first started, we were doing like, you know, meals from different places yes. around the world every week and then I don't know we why stop, she stopped. We change it, we do this, we do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but anywho, this week we're all we're just doing all global cuisine. Today we are having bosam. Bosam what? <laughs> it's just called bosam. Oh, from where? <laughs> Korea. <laughs> so we're having some Korean food today. Viva Korea. Exactly. Viva Korea. <laughs> we should have learned some Korean yeah. to say this. My bad, guys. <laughs> Um, so, and as you can see, this is a very healthy plate, and if you're on, like, a low-carb diet, keto something, this is right in that wheelhouse. Yes. You're not really missing anything at all, and super delicious. So, basam is basically, a uh, lettuce wrap, wow. and it's, a uh, pork lettuce wrap. Traditionally, they use pork belly, which we have here. Usually, oh. the pork belly is sliced much prettier than this, but... Yeah, this is good. <laughs> now, here's the thing. They usually boil yeah, this it. This is good, guys. They usually boil it, um, and it takes like an hour to get it really tender. Mm. I was in a time crunch, so I decided to put it in my Instant Pot, and that Instant Pot made it like literally fall apart. <laughs> so it was not like solid enough to like, you know, get those nice pretty slices, but nonetheless, it's flavorful, and it's super, super, super tender. Yes. So um, basam, as I said, is basically boiled pork. There's some fancy places who are doing it different ways now um usually have uh pickle well like a uh, fresh uh radish kimchi, kimchi which i made I myself this um i made this homemade radish kimchi mm. and then this is the regular cabbage kimchi mm. now it's usually wrapped in um like pickled napa cabbage mm. he's not a fan of cabbage no. So I went with lettuce here. Good choice, good choice. <laughs> so they do either pickled Napa cabbage leaves, or they also do lettuce leaves, or they do perilla leaves. Mm. Um, I saw perilla leaves at the Korean store, but they didn't look that fresh. So I'm like, okay, we'll stick with lettuce leaves. Mm. And then you can add whatever little fixings you want. I've got some carrot sticks here and cucumbers. And then over here we have our samjang. I hope I said that right. Which is like, uh, I didn't put a lot. It's like a spicy little dipping thing or nice, thingamajiggy nice. so let's dig in let's dig in dig, 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 guys dig, i hope dig. you guys are doing good staying yes. safe mm -hmm. protecting yourself yes covid is still happening okay so please wear your mask yes a lot of people out there pretending as if um covid no longer exists and they're just, you know, because they're vaccinated, they're all, they're out there running around without their mask and stuff. And guys, it ain't cool. It ain't cool. Don't do it. Get some sauce. Do you want to try without the sauce first? No. Okay. Here you go. Oop, you got it? <laughs> right, I'm trying you know mine yeah, I'll without the, the sauce first. Yeah. Mm. I don't know what you think. Delicious. It makes you feel like you're in Asia, mm -hmm. in the beach, you know. Asia in the, the beach? A mix of both, a mix of both. Huh? Oh. <laughs> I see where you're getting the beach vibe because it's so fresh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, the ingredients, they taste actually 
It's something ancient, but mm -hmm. the feeling, the taste, so refreshing. Yeah. I mean, normally when someone thinks of pork belly, they think heavy. Mm -hmm. Heavy, fatty. But I guess maybe the fact that it's boiled and it's so aromatic, you boil it in like lots of garlic and ginger and things like that. And then you're not having it with something heavy. You have the the pickling of the, you know, the kimchi and the, the pickled radish and the fresh lettuce. It just like freshens it up. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't seem heavy at all. At all. All right, can I have some kimchi? I probably should have put more kimchi in there. <laughs> we, I have like a whole container. Is that kimchi too? Um, this is the regular kimchi, the cabbage kimchi. Um, yeah, and he doesn't like cabbage, but somehow he likes the cabbage kimchi. I don't know. Weird. Um, this is the fresh pickled radish um, kimchi that I made. So you can try this. Wow. What, is it spicy? That's a good sauce. Yeah. I it has like a, like a kick. A little kick to it? Mm -hmm. Let me try it. I definitely should have put more kimchi over there in that container for you. I forgot. We can always pause the video and you go get some more. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how spicy the Sanjang would be, so I didn't really put a lot in here. Didn't want to blow our brains out, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm Ooh. trying to finish a beer that opened up earlier. Yeah, and I'm just having some water. Because, I mean, with this, like, the flavors are, like, so pungent, you know, from the kimchi. Yeah. You don't want to, like, overpower it any drink. Like, yeah. I hear you, girl. Mm. Wow. I definitely think you're going to pause us to go get yourself more kimchi, right? <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Guys, have you ever had Korean food? Comment down below what you think. Let us know what your favorite Korean dish is. Yes. What's your favorite Korean dish? I don't think I ever have one. Yeah, you have. Really? You probably just don't know the name of it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you tell me. Um, remember we went to, back in New York, we went to that Korean barbecue place where you like, you grill your own meat oh, and stuff? Oh, hot pot. No, not hot pot. That's different. Hmm. Where's hot pot from? The hot pot is Chinese, and I know that they also really? have a Japanese version. Hmm. I think the Japanese version is called Shabu Shabu. Oh. Mm -hmm. Is that the same thing? Very similar. Hmm. But we went to a Korean barbecue place once. I don't recall. Yeah, it was like really dark in the restaurant. And they had the table mm. with the grill. And you basically just grill your own stuff. I swear to God, I don't recall. <laughs> yeah, that was a long time ago though. We only went once because he didn't enjoy the experience. So that's probably why you don't remember. Oh. Yeah, um, the place that we went to, the grill wasn't like really firing well, and it was just a whole mess. Mm -hmm. That's something else that we love that that, that we miss. Um, hot pot is an Asian thing. Mm -hmm. um, it's like you said, a Chinese. Um, that when, later on, when we do have the equipment, we're gonna make it for you guys. So let's not talk about hot pot in a Korean video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My favorite Kore Korean meal is bibimbap. Love it. It's that rice dish. Yeah. Has like a soft runny egg on top. You can have it with your beef and veggies and stuff like that. And the crispy rice at the bottom. Love bibimbap. Mm. Ah. Really good. Really good. I approve. <laughs> and it's so easy to prepare. I mean, like, guys, literally, the only thing you're making... Oh! <laughs> the only thing you're making... Is the pork belly and it just like cooks itself. You just throw the pork belly with the, the aromatics in the pot, let it boil, and while that's cooking away, you assemble you know your little veggies that you're having it with. Um, if you don't want to make your radish salad from scratch, I'm sure they sell it somewhere. I don't know, but it's pretty easy to make. Comes together in no time. 
And of course you can get store-bought kimchi. Um, you can get store-bought samjang sauce. And it's finger food. Yeah. This, I think something like this is great for a crowd, mm -hmm. but obviously a COVID-free crowd, <laughs> since everyone's gonna be dipping and doing in the same, you know? Mm. Oh, let me try cucumber in here. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I like the cucumber in that Sam Jang. Oh, I'm saying it right. <laughs> that is delicious. Mm. Wow. Delicious. There's more lettuce right there on the counter. Okay. Obviously, I underprepared. <laughs> it's Did, all good. Have it's you all tried good. this? No. Oh. Here. I saw the kimchi, right? You said? This is um the radish one. The radish kimchi. The fresh one that I made. Radish. Mm -hmm. And guys, here for the for the radish kimchi, ideally you want to use a Korean radish, but I'm fully aware that some of you might not be able to find that. Um daikon radish is very much more accessible so daikon radish is a very good substitute yes i think so you think <laughs> i'm gonna put a piece of carrot in here now they also serve this with um as i said you can use any fixings you want we have carrots and we have cucumbers here i've seen people have this with like raw garlic like slivered mm. slices of yeah. raw garlic and like raw hot peppers uh -huh. and stuff like that um yeah by all means i mean garlic is one of those things like you could brush your teeth three times four times and it's kind of hard to get rid of that garlic breath especially the raw garlic don't get me wrong i love garlic but yeah i'm your girl wasn't in the mood for raw garlic breath today <laughs> Mmm. Yum. Mm. So good. Mm hmm I'm sure. I know traditionally it's like pork <clears throat> belly or they use pork shoulder, but I'm absolutely sure that no one in Korea is gonna be offended if you don't eat pork and you decide to do this with some chicken. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't they use Hawaii too? Or something similar? I don't know. Ask them. Mm. Yummy. Guys, let me know. I believe that in Hawaii they eat something similar. Or even It could be this or it could be something similar. If you guys do know, comment down below. Mm. This is a great way to get your vegetables in. Mm. And you're not even missing the carbs and you know what I'm saying? And all that stuff. No. Because that pork belly is just so unctuous and, you know, delicious. It really satisfies you. Mm-hmm. Mm. Definitely. This is delicious. I think to, we're going to pause this video. We're going to go get him some more lettuce and we'll be right back. That's all right, guys. We're back. Just like that. We're back. Magic. <laughs> um, yeah, he went to go get some more lettuce leaves so he can make himself a few more wraps. But she didn't want to make me. Excuse me? I made this whole thing. What do you mean I didn't want to make you? I know. <laughs> I just, um, I, I wasn't sure how many you were going to eat, so... Or how long we wanted this video to be. Five hours long. How about that, guys? Five hours long. You see? Here. No, there's um, more in here. What are you doing? So much of brings so you can, you can have more. Guys, we're, we're wrestling over the Sam Jang sauce. Don't mind us. 
Okay. Yeah, don't mind this. But don't change the channel either. Yeah, here. We're family over here, right, guys? And that's what family do. Like, don't eat all the sauce. Don't, don't eat all the chicken or something. Right? I guess. Mm -mm. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Post back some so they can see everything. Mm. And guys, I did not make this overly spicy. Obviously, with Korean food, Korean food is typically very spicy. You can adjust the spice level to whatever suits you. It does not have to be knock your head off spicy. Um, you can make your kimchi as spicy as you'd like or, you know, whatever. If you're making your samjang sauce from scratch, as spicy as you'd like or as mild as you'd like. Mm -hmm. So, do not worry about the spice level at all. I made this um, just mildly spiced, just right in the middle. Mm -hmm. Just right. Yeah, because I just want to keep it fresh, you know, clean. Flavors didn't want to blow your palate out and stuff. Mm. Mm -mm. How was everybody's Labor Day? I guess I hope you guys had a good one, safe one, the family. If you guys worked, I'm sorry. You know, some companies out there. Mm. Alright guys, I'm getting full. Are you getting full? No. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm about to wrap this video up. He's gonna sit here and continue eating this delicious meal. Yes. Um join us again for another meal around the world. Yes. I'm not sure where it's gonna be yet. What's the next destination? If you have Let any us, suggestions or yeah, go yeah. ahead. <laughs> if you have any suggestions, recommendations, any place mm -hmm. you want us to try, comment down below. Mm -hmm. Or we can just you know we should do one day. Just well, we don't have that. Well, they should find like a globe and spin it and see where it lands. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a good. They one. should be probably. They do have a globe. Mm -hmm. It's right there. Really. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll, we'll do it next time. <laughs> or maybe probably there's an app, you know, like, you know, like there's an app for, for flip a coin, you probably have an app for that. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll look into it. <laughs> guys, please subscribe. Please turn on your notifications. Mm -hmm. Love you guys. Please share us out. Means a lot. Bye. Bye. 20 million dollars. 20 mil. House on the hill.